<laughs> Through October 10th to the 13th, the musical Amelie came to life by the hands of the drama department. Since July, crew members have spent days worth of work turning the stage into a platform to display the whimsical world of Amelie as she takes her imagination to the next level. I play Amelie, and Amelie is kind of the main person that you follow throughout the story of the musical. The character is very, she's very socially introverted because of the things that happened in her childhood, but she's also very curious and whimsical, but she's like scared to get close to people, and that's kind of what drives the whole plot of the story, I would say. I'm Bella Riley and I play young Amelie. It was really interesting because at first I was like, okay, young Amelie is very outgoing, but when she's an adult, she's very shy. And her imagination, it saves her as a child, but it cripples her as an adult. And that really like opened my eyes to like the character of Amelie, like how young Amelie bridges to adult Amelie. Precise measurements were made to make sure the musical was physically the best it could be. Yet each member faced their own obstacles they had to tackle through the course of the show. I'm Nick Brugman and I play Nino Ken Kopwa. He is like the love interest of the show. Some of the obstacles were like trying to find like the balance of the quirkiness in my character and like the realism of being a person kind of. Some challenges I've had while in the process of this musical is definitely trying to bring the character to life and finding all aspects of my character and then bringing them in a way that the audience can perceive them. Behind the scenes, crew members put in a great amount of effort to make sure the musical ran smoothly throughout. My name's Edison Geiler. I'm the stage manager for the musical Amelie, which means I'm kind of helping backstage, making sure everything flows super smoothly, getting mic changes, getting set changes, all flowing well. Not only did crew members gain an experience of a lifetime by participating and learning the roles within the drama department, but they gain friendships and even a family off the stage. The theater is such a familial experience. It's truly one of the only art forms where for a month or a couple months, everyone has one goal, which is putting on an amazing show. So it's just natural that you start creating bonds and you grow a family. With the help of props, favorable characters, and backdrops, each scene separated itself into a unique piece. My favorite part of this musical would either have to be Elton John, uh, Elton John's song, because who doesn't love Elton John? But then also, I really like the way it ends because most musicals end with like a big bang, but this is just very subtle and it's really beautiful and I think I really like that change. I think this musical is really different and it's, it's serious, but it's also really whimsical and I think it's something the audience is really gonna connect with and I'm excited for people to see it. The hard work within the drama department once paid off again as the musical was an unforgettable sight to see. This has been Miguel Paredes and Bailey Christensen signing off for the MWHS Wildcat News.